Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time for a really quick UEFN tip. Today I'm going to be showing you two unique ways that you can build on any surface using either a blueprint prop or a grid panel, just like this. All right, let's go. First, we're going to create a blueprint setup like you see here. To do that, you're going to create a blueprint folder like I have here. I named it BPP, which stands for Blueprint Prop. And you're going to right click and go to Blueprint Class. And select Building Prop. I'm going to name this BPP03. Alright, once that's done, go ahead and open that up. And before we even lay down the grid plane, we're going to go ahead and adjust our class default settings. Alright, so once you have your blueprint prop open, you're going to see a blank window here in the viewport. What we're going to do is drag in a grid plane. So to find it, you're going to click on the all folder and type in the search bar grid plane like you see here. And when it pops up, you're going to click on it and drag it into the viewport just like that. Once that's done, you can go ahead and clear your search. And we're going to go ahead and click on Class Default. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down the settings so you can see what you need to do to set this up. You want to make sure Allow Custom Material is set to True. For marking, you want to put Can Be Marked true block marking true for structural support you want to make sure it can register with the structural grid make sure this is set to true for weak spots you want to make sure these are both set to false So that's allow weak spots false and use complex for weak spots false. For the player built category, you want to make sure is player buildable is set to true. Let's make sure allow team damage is on. And actor can be damaged is also on. Next, let's click on the static mesh component. And these settings can be left on the default settings. As you see here. There's nothing for a box component. And for editor, only static mesh component. You want to make sure it's set to a mobility of movable and so forth. And for the grid plane, everything is on default. All right, once that's done, go ahead and compile and save. And minimize your window. All right, now that that's done, you wanna go ahead and grab your blueprint prop and drag it onto the viewport of your Unreal Editor. You can see I already have one right here. And go ahead and size that to the size that you want it to be. 
So I went ahead and made mine's, um, let's see here, a basically a 6.2 by 6.2 by 3.5. So you can see right here. And after you've resized it the way you want, next you want to go ahead and click the add button here and choose to add a cube or a plane or a static mesh if you're going to be putting something custom. Once that's done, your prop should look something like this. Having the main prop on top, your static mesh component, your plane box or static mesh, and your grid plane on the bottom. Now, let's review the settings. Click on your blueprint prop by name, as you see here. It should be the one at the very top. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the settings. You want to make sure that in structural support, your forcefully structural supported is marked true and register when structure grid is marked true. Make sure for weak spots, allow weak spots is set to false. And use complex for weak spots, it's also set to false. and you can see the rest of the settings here. I do have allow team damage set to false and so forth. For a static mesh component, we're going to make sure that's set to movable. And for your plane box or static mesh that you added on top, you want to ensure that the settings are as you see here. Next, we're going to click on the grid plane and you can see the settings for that. And to finish this off, we're gonna actually turn off visible. And you can see that you can only see your static mesh box or plane right here. All right, last but not least, you wanna make sure that your static mesh is set to movable. Your plane is also set to movable and your grid plane is also set to movable. Let's go ahead and save that and jump into a session. And if you have a session that's already open, make sure you push your changes so that everything is good to go. All right, here we are in the session. Let's go ahead and start a game. All right, so let's go ahead and drop some builds here. You can see it builds right on the surface. And pretty cool. Next up is the easiest way to do it. So if you don't wanna use blueprints and you're like, oh, that's just way too much work, let's go ahead and jump into the second option you have by just using a grid panel directly placed into your map. So let's do it. All right, go ahead and click on your content drawer and click on the all folder 
and search for grid plane. All right, you should see it pop up and go ahead and drop that right into your game. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring it up here just to match with the others. And I want it at the same level there. And now I'm going to go ahead and increase the size just like so. And that looks pretty cool. All right, and then I'm going to drag over my player spawn pad. That way I spawn on this. like so. All right, the next thing that you need to do is just change the material or add a material instance. So you're gonna go to the grid plane and go to materials. And let's do something like a translucent blue. That'll be really cool. All right, you're gonna go ahead and save that and push your changes and let's go ahead and jump into a session and let's do it right here we are on our translucent blue grid panel let's go ahead and run a test all right and see how much faster that is i really prefer this method compared to the blueprint However, if you do need to do something really custom, blueprints might be the way for you. And if you just wanna use a grid panel, you can do this method and save yourself a lot of time. All right, that's gonna do it for this quick UEFN tip. I do hope you guys find this tutorial beneficial. And if you do, be sure to drop a comment below. I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Bye.